Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the decompression point for the section we've been working with. So I've just redrawn the section 100 by 200, 15, 185 is where all of these centroids of the steel layers are. So what is the decompression point? The decompression point is the next point on our strength interaction diagram. Um, so the decompression point, it says here, let me try to zoom in a bit for you guys. So it says here, the decompression point is calculated taking the strain in the extreme compressor fiber to equal 0 0.003, the strain in the extreme tensile fiber equals zero, and using the rectangular stress block given in clause 10.6.2.5. Okay, so this decompression point is from 10.6.2.3, so that's where it's from, and it says that the strain in the extreme compressive fiber is 0 0.003, and the strain in the extreme tensile fiber is zero. So, the strain diagram is very simple. Here's the strain diagram. We've said that in the previous squash load video, that this is in tension and this is in compression. And the reason we said that is because there's more steel layers here, which indicates that that's gonna be taking tension and that's gonna be taking compression. So now you can see the, re the re relevance of this. And it says that the strain in the extreme compressive fiber is 0 0.003. And the strain in the extreme tensile fiber is zero. So it's a very simple strain diagram. We're gonna be getting to stresses in a second. So you've seen in the introduction video that we have this general layout here, okay? So the distance from the extreme compressive fiber to the neutral axis is normally given by KUD, where D is the depth of the section. But in our case, KUD actually equals D. KUD, so you can see that the neutral axis for us has shifted all the way to the bottom. So KUD equals D. 